Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. All the actions with cost solved by 21 present amidst bear market. Australian crypto exchange highlights inflation, a recession, and the bear market as the reason behind the unfortunate layoffs. Australian crypto exchange has had the layoff 21 percent of its staff to lower costs as it went through the current bear market, according to a Wednesday note from CEO CEO Alex Harper and Ren Parsons. It states the 74 college had to be let go as the current economic climate that they were hired in has shifted dramatically to what is today. As you are all aware, we are operating in an uncertain business environment with level of domestic inflation not seen in over two decades, raising interest rates, highly volatile market across all asset class, and the potential for a global recession. We want to be very clear that investing our teammates in this way is a less resort and is not in my, in any way a reflection of the talent or commitment of those individual. A spokesperson from explained the decision a little further to coin telegraph nothing that this was a hard decision but a prudent one the answer our cause are compatible with this extend period of economic uncertainty. We are deeply grateful for everything that team members who are leaving us, leaving us have done, and we are working to support them through this extremely hard period, they say. Join the long list of crypto firms to have suffered growing pains as a result of the healthy downward trend in crypto this year. With United States exchange, Coinbase and Gemini both slashing their heads count by 18% and 20% over the past couple of months. In June, the crypto exchange announced it will be merging with the Australian online investing platform Superhero as part of a $1 billion merger which is expected to complete around May. 2023. At the time, Superhero CEO founder John Winters said that the two platforms will operate independently of each other and that no job loss are expected as part of the merger. Crypto ad spending may be announcement also follow a major employee cool from Singapore based exchange Crypto.com. According to various enforcement reports online this week, the figure could be as high as 1,000 also. It's worth noting that this information was supplied by an unmet source that claimed to be close to the matter. So, Korean Central Bank, the bank discourse I saw in comments to a Korean translation of the MACA legislation released Monday. The BOK state the regulatory page gate protects a user and investor without hindering innovation. A balanced approach is needed to foster a sound market to the industry of a crypto asset regulatory system to promote blockchain and crypto asset innovation while not hindering the development of relate the current central bank would continue when the on digital asset framework as is enacted in the future it is necessary to institutional allow domestic crypto asset South Korea banned domestic in 2017 at the height of the ICO mania that led to recession worldwide the decision was controversial from the start since the imposition of the ban South Korea crypto firms have issued new crypto assets and sold them in South Korean domestic exchange. 
The BOK also comments to the MICA approach to stablecoin regulation, considering that users suffer regulation for stablecoins. Okay, maybe that's all from me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.